Department of Environmental. I mean, the DEP is killing us. So what does the Environmental Protection Agency look like under Donald Trump? Well, for starters, here's his pick to lead the EPA transition. We believed that the consensus was phony. They are cooking the data. They have been waging war on the use of energy ever since the first Earth Day on Lenin's birthday in 1970. He's the energy director at a libertarian think tank, has been called an oil industry mouthpiece, and denies climate science every chance he gets. It's sort of like tapping Saruman to lead the conservation efforts of Fangorn Forest. So, what happens next? We will eliminate the clean power plan. This is Obama's signature climate policy, which is intended to cut 32% of power plant emissions by replacing coal with natural gas and renewable energy. The plan relies on the EPA's enforcement of carbon pollution regulations, and under Trump, that's uh, not going to happen. Without the EPA regulating carbon emissions, coal will become more profitable in the short term, while the American people, especially the poor and people of color, pay the cost in asthma, heart attacks, and premature death. And then the entire world pays for climate change. Parts of the Clean Air and Water Acts are also under threat. We will eliminate the highly invasive waters of the U.S. rule. In 2015, the EPA passed a rule to include smaller streams in the Clean Water Act, streams that provide drinking water to a third of Americans. With Trump, this rule likely goes away. Joint legislation from both Congress and the Trump administration could limit the ability of the EPA to regulate moving forward. Of course, there's plenty to pay attention to outside of the EPA, like pulling out of the Paris Agreement, or considering a fossil fuel executive for the Department of Interior. Early on, it doesn't look positive for the organization in charge of protecting our air and water. Check out Grist for ongoing coverage and solutions to move forward.